Okay, this is kind of an optional, but, but I think very important addendum to the lectures on ordinary least squares formulas, where we were talking about r squared and total sum of squares, residual sum of squares, and explain sum of squares. Because when I first saw someone explain what's going on the way I'm getting ready to explain it to you, it made so much sense, and I've, I've always remembered this example. And so uh, I'm going to be looking at one more example uh, with some real-world data here. And the data, let me paste it over here so we can look at it as we're uh, going on here. Uh, the data is on um, four states, again, to keep things simple, looking at the average income in each of the states and the percent of people who smoke in each state. And so this is income in thousands of dollars and percent of people who smoke or percent of adults who smoke. And so what we might want to do is see if there's a relationship between these two variables. Is there a relationship between smoking and um, income? And what we see here is that as the average income goes up, the percent of people in a state who smoke goes down. Now, rather than focusing on that relationship, I want to focus on these, these calculations. And so whenever you look at a graph of, let me uh, add a couple of rows here so I can, we can see everything together here. When you add, um, look at these formulas for total sum of squares, explain sum of squares, and residual sum of squares, we discussed what they meant a little bit. But I think if you if you look at it in a graph, it makes a lot more sense. And so when you look at these three formulas here along the right, you see three elements to the three formulas. And those three elements are the yi, the y bar, and the y hat. Now the yi, just remember, that's the actual value of the data for what we're trying to explain, in this case, percent who smoke. So the yi are actually these four numbers. We have y1, y2, y3, and y4 are these um, four yi's, actual smoking rates. Now, the y bar is just the average rate of smoking, and that is 24. So while the yi's, there are four different numbers, that's why it has the subscript i, y bar is just one number, the average. 24. And y hat i, there are four of those. These are predicted values. So hat is a prediction, bar is average, and y i is the actual. Now the y hat i just asks us, what does our line predict that the value of uh, percent smoking would be? Now you can get that from an equation, or you can just look at the actual line. And so I'm going to look at these in the scatter plot. These blue dots are the yi's, the actual data. So I'm going to bring yi and I'm going to put it next to one of those blue dots. And we're just going to focus on this one, which is 32, which is actually Arkansas. So there's 32% smoke in Arkansas. And that's being predicted. Uh, with uh, income of 27,000. Now, so that's the yi. What's the y hat i? Well, the y hat i is what does the line predict? So I'm going to stick the y hat i over here by the line. What would the line predict for 27,000? It would be right about here, right about. 27.5% smoking, something right in there. So we have our yi. The line is the y hat i. Now, what about the y bar? Well, the y bar is just the average, which is 24. So I'm going to put y bar down here. And I'm also going to bring in a red line. And I'm going to put it right at 24. And we can see where the average 
y bar is. So in these three equations, let me bring these three equations over here and we can discuss what they mean in turn. Now, the first thing I want us to look at is this equation, the yi minus the y hat. Now, that y hat should have a subscript i on it, but it doesn't. Let me see if I can edit it real quickly and add one because I don't want to be accused of not having everything correct here and uh, straightforward. Well, I couldn't edit. So remember that y hat i, uh, there are four of those. What is the actual data yi minus the y hat i? Well, that's a residual, right? An E. So a residual is a prediction error. How far is the point, the actual point, from the line? So this first equation, yi minus y hat i, gives us the residual sum of squares. We're just looking at the size of the residuals. We're squaring them and adding them up. So that's the residual sum of squares. Now, where is that on our graph? What's the blue dot, the yi? minus the line, the y hat i. And so I am going to represent that e with a yellow line so that we can visualize exactly where the residual is, right? And so that distance between the two, let me drop the y hat i down there, and I'm going to put the e i right there so we can see where it is. So that yellow line is the residual, y i minus the line, which is the y hat i. Now, let's look at the second equation here. We know that's residual sum of squares. Second equation, that's the y i minus the y bar. Well, that's between the blue dot and all the way down to the red line. Now, let's look at that in just a second. Let's look at the first part here. The next part, uh, second, this is the y hat, that's the line, minus the y bar, that's the red. Okay, well, I'm going to bring in a little line here that's green, and I'm going to put it right there so we can see what we're talking about. So the green is the line, y hat, minus the average, y bar. So the residual between the dot and the line, the difference between the prediction and the average is what we call the estimated or the explained amount of the variation. Now why? Well, because the line is our model and it tells us how we can explain smoking with income. And so we call this the ESS or the explained sum of squares, which is what is the difference between the predictions and the average? And if you add those two up, you add the yellow, the residual, plus the explained, what do you get? Well, the total difference between the blue point and the red is the actual minus the average. And that's what we call the total sum of squares, the TSS. So the reason I wanted to look at this graph is so that you can try to picture what's going on and, and remember an explanation for what the residual, the explained, and the total sum of squares are, and so you can see why they have to add up to be the total. So again, the residual is how much cannot, can we not predict uh, the act of the actual point down to the line? What's that difference? But then the line can actually predict some of the difference uh, in smoking behavior uh, between that and the average. So that's the explained sum of squares. And the total is just if you add those two together, the yellow, which is the residual, and the explained, which is the green. And again, remember that the total sum of squares is just like the variance. Actual minus the average, square it, and add them up. It's just a measure of the total variation, just like the variance is. So how much variation is there of data around its mean? Blue minus average, blue minus average, blue minus average. Almost no variation around the mean there. 
blue minus average. Um, so if we average, add all those up, that tells us the total variation. And some of it, the green, can be explained by our regression line. So that's the explain sum of squares. And then there's some left over that we cannot explain with our model, and that's called the residual sum of squares. And so hopefully by remembering this picture, draw it yourself and, and reason it out and go back to the calculations we did before and see if it makes a little more sense and if it's easier to remember.